Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the different things you should look for in an antivirus. Now, there are a lot of antivirus softwares out there, each with their own bundle and features. So if you just got a PC and you're looking for an antivirus, all this might seem overwhelming, especially if you don't know what you're looking for in an antivirus. So in this video, I'll be going over the three main categories you should consider when choosing an antivirus, which are performance, value, and ease of use. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to know when it comes to choosing the right antivirus. But if you want somewhere to start, I'll be leaving in-depth reviews of my antiviruses in the description down below. So make sure to check that out. Okay, so the first thing you should consider when looking for an antivirus is performance and reliability. Since antivirus handles your sensitive information and their primary function is to protect you from malware, you should look for a service that has near perfect malware detection rates, such as Norton, Total AV, and McAfee. One good way to check for this would be to use websites like avtest.com, which regularly tests the antiviruses and scores them accordingly. Also, you should look for antivirus programs with reputable backgrounds and no history of them ever being breached or compromised. Another thing you should look into when it comes to performance is resource management. Antivirus programs run in the background and they can consume system resources. A good antivirus should have a minimal impact on your computer's performance, making sure that it doesn't slow down your system during scans or real-time protection. Other than that, you should also look for an antivirus with real-time protection, which means it can actively monitor your system for threats and block them before they can cause harm. I believe that almost all antivirus processes should be automated since not all users would have the time to go out of their way and run scans. And if you had to manually scan your device every time, you're more likely to miss some worms and viruses that find their way onto your system. As for the final thing in the performance and reliability category, you should look for antivirus programs that are constantly updating their malware databases as well as their software. And that's because regular virus definition updates are really important when it comes to an antivirus program's ability to combat new and emerging threats. Now, let's move on to the second category you should consider when choosing an antivirus, which is gonna be cost and value. First of all, antivirus options vary from free to premium packages, so it's important to assess your budget and compare feature sets to find the right balance between cost and protection. For example, free antivirus software offers basic security, while premium options provide advanced features like real-time scanning, firewall protection, a VPN, and identity theft protection, which justifies their higher costs. Another thing you should take into consideration is the number of devices covered under the antivirus license. Look for options that allow multiple devices to be protected under a single subscription, which is particularly cost-effective for families or businesses. You should also make sure that their programs are compatible across a wide range of devices and operating systems, since there are a lot of programs out there that are exclusive to either Windows, Macs, or Androids. Lastly, look for an antivirus that either offers a money-back guarantee or a free trial. Since getting an antivirus is something of a long-term commitment, using their service firsthand for a month or two without paying any money can help you decide whether or not it's worth the investment, and you'll be making a more informed decision about it. Now, let's move on to the last category to look into when choosing an antivirus, and that's going to be ease of use. First, look for an antivirus software that is accessible to users of varying technical expertise. An easy to use interface would make sure that both no voice and experienced users can navigate the software without feeling overwhelmed or confused. This accessibility means that even those less familiar with technology can effectively protect their devices from cyber threats. Another thing to take into consideration is that an effective antivirus shouldn't disrupt your normal activities. It should work in the background, 
providing real-time protection without consistently bombarding you with intrusive notifications or pop-ups. There have been many instances where I decided to let go of an antivirus since it kept cutting me off during work meetings and messing up my workflow. Lastly, look for an antivirus with an active support team that ideally works 24-7 and can be reached through multiple channels, whether it be through emails, calls, or text messages. So to sum it up, Finding the right antivirus for you means finding a balance between how well it works, how much value it brings for its cost, and how easy it is to use. And if you're not sure where to start, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I normally recommend to friends and family in the description down below, along with some discounts. And that's it for today's video. If you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. That would be all for today and I'll see you in the next one.